Hi, my name is Shara Castaneda and I coach netball and basketball at Bishop Anstey High in Port of Spain. I'm the Assistant Secretary for the National Basketball Federation of Trinidad Tobago. I am also the co-founder of Stingers Basketball Program and I'm also in charge of mini basketball through Trinidad Tobago primary school level. Uh, there's a lot of females coming out here to participate in basketball and we hope they encourage you to continue to do the best they can. How or why did I get involved in basketball? Watching my brother and his peers. Watching them and seeing what they can do, it really, you know, it, it, it kind of brought me to light that I can do these things with them too. I had a determination to be better than them. And, you know, just playing every day and being, being able to express myself, knowing that while I was younger, I, could, I didn't used to talk much, so basketball was my voice. It has impacted in a way of educational. I had a scholarship in Charleston, South Carolina. I played professionally, semi-professionally in Denmark, Sweden, and also in the United Kingdom. And, you know, playing in England, it was really nice and they all accepted me. I think, as people say, people just gravitate because of my spirit. So I didn't have all these other issues that other people were having. And knowing that I was from a Caribbean island, I think that kind of helped me other than being anywhere else. So I was just free. My spirit was just free. So anybody, I just, people just got attached and people became my friends and people treated me really with respect and vice versa. You know, and that's all I wanted. And it impacted a lot of my life, being able to travel, and see different cultures and learn about other people and one of the challenges and out of the three is respect knowing that we females can play cost factor we can also pay for big prize money and knowing that we can understand the game and we can play the game and even though as females we still can we can do things and being amongst players, great players like Erica Down, Real Mitchell, Hazel Taylor, and Leslie Hines, and now you have Melissa and Pietro Gay. You know, these are the people now that not much of our female players know of. You know, we need to, to portray them more than anything else now. What advice do you have for upcoming female players? Always make sure and be proud of who you are, where you're going, or what you're doing. You know, there's other people, there's people who will try their best to bring you down, but ignore the negative remarks. All you need to do is just stay focused. Make sure you have your education, and make sure you have the love and the passion for the game. I want us to be amongst the men in their wards and in mind of the youths. You know, I want to see female basketball come back to where it was when I used to play in the early stages of my life. I want to see these kids and them call them have their own stories so I can then sit back like how we all are doing right now and listening to minds.